Hey guys, welcome back. It is time for a little, uh, I don't know what you want to call this video. We're, we're just going to analyze the retaliation and or a hissy fit that is being thrown by a scammer. Who would have thought that they all do the same thing? They all threaten the same things. They think th this is my first rodeo and no, it's not. I've, I've been to a few scammer rodeos in my day. If you don't like the J baller, G baller, 69 evil cowboy impression, Probably not going to like this video. There's going to be a lot of it because our boy Josh here, uh, the one from the the second video here, this bad boy, uh, the whatnot seller who was caught weighing Pokemon packs live on camera. Uh, and it was in the reflection of the slimes behind him. Uh, again, he's just going to he's going to double. He's going to triple. He's going to threaten me. Uh, and uh, it, if he just it, all he had to do was scroll back a little bit uh, and uh, and see any of the other scammer videos. And know that retaliating and or fighting with me after you got caught scamming is a terrible idea. It's not good. It's not It's not good for anyone involved. Well, other than uh, myself and anyone that likes to see someone get dragged for trying to rip people off. I mean, that's what it's coming down to here. That's what it is. That's what we're looking at. So let's see what Josh is saying. We got the DMs here. And again, we're going to, we got a voice DM. If you, for anyone that hasn't seen me explain this in the in the past uh, maybe people don't realize this but uh, you're a fucking asshole if you send people voice messages uh, instead of text so first of all yes it saves you a little bit of time and effort uh, to record a stupid little message here voice message uh, at the expense of someone else having to listen to your stupid ass big old no no big old greedy mick skeedy don't do it friends don't let friends send voice messages this is lazy uh, inconsiderate, and I I hate everyone that, that does this. Change your shit. I think most people probably realize that they're being a dickhead, or they're just a dickhead. Um, but uh, but anyway. All right, uh, we might have to shrink myself down here a little bit. And or uh, move this bad boy up like so. Ooh, that is going to be tiny. All right, you guys are going to have to listen to me no matter what. Even if you want to mute it, you're probably not going to be able to read that if you have a small screen. I say, hey, can we chat? I, I, I gotta stop giving myself an accent. Uh, I say, hey, can we chat? And he says, you are boarding on being slandered here on no proof at all. And I'm going to make the point and take this further with you. Please, can you DM me? I'll get my solicitor to write you up a letter about all of this and take all the legal action required from all that has just been done. I am now contacting my solicitor with the video. Please, can I ask some contact information from you for all your sent, all to be sent across? <laughs> yeah, okay. I am not happy about the false information being sent out. Did you know I refunded everyone also? Um, yes, I know. You were forced to refund everyone. Um, you, you said that you weren't going to refund them on the video. If you guys want to watch the previous video that covers all of that and has all of the footage so you know what's going on here, I will leave a link down to that below. I suggest you watch that first and then come back and watch this one. Uh, so y you know the full story. Regardless, pretty, pretty clear here. He takes the packs off screen for an extended amount of time. Uh, and you can see him doing this with all of the packs, almost certainly onto a scale so that he can pull out the uh, the big hit, the SR from the box, uh, and, and then pretend that it was like, oopsie doopsie, it was a resealed box, I can't believe it. Uh, and then blaming the person that he bought the box from. But clearly, even, even if we couldn't see his reflection, I'm gonna give him a hard doubt, like what the hell are you doing with taking the packs out of the box off screen for an extended duration, uh, like long enough to weigh them all out. Let alone the fact that they were in the reflection because you're fucking dumb and didn't realize it. Anyway, now we have a voice message, very kind of him, uh, to send us that. Again, you're an asshole if you do this. Uh, and also, much less, if this wasn't uh, someone that was being a wiener baby supreme, I'm, I'm probably not listening to it. I have a billion DMs and I am not clicking play on every one of these fuckers to listen to them. So if you send me something and it's in a voice message, there's a good chance it's gonna just, just going to straight up get ignored. Let's listen what he has to say. Surely he has. Also, um, again, I, I've had much better bluffs in terms of like um, lawyer threats, lawsuit threats. Here he says that I'm being slandered. I'm boarding on, I'm boarding. I'm boarding on being slandered. I think he means that he's bordering. What? I don't know. Anyway, he, he's, I don't know how to say it in a nice way, but not very intelligent. Now, voice message. 
Also, I'd like to know why you cut the second video when I refund everybody and you don't let anybody know that I refunded everybody. I mean, it's in the video that you refunded everyone. You decided to refund them. Well, it's not in the video that you refunded them, but you agreed to refund them uh, after telling them that you wouldn't refund them when they asked in the chat. But good try. Out of my own personal money yet again, I never got refunded for the box. You're not going to get refunded for the box? You took the SR out. What's, what, what was the SR? Josh, what was it? What was the pack that you set aside? Which one that you, that you swapped out? And everything was squashed with Amir, and a lot of big streamers have also said a lot of them boxes are going around being resealed. I don't care if you squashed everything with Amir, this is not Amir, this is me. This is a Rattle, covering the fact that you are a dirty a fucking scammer, in my opinion. This is my opinion, all these videos are my opinion. Reminder, heads up, I'm allowed to give my opinion. Uh, I w I've never been more certain that somebody was weighing packs than someone that would be dumb enough to do it right on stream and have video evidence why why is it that you're deleting all the uh all the videos all your all your vods why is that why you, why do you hide those if there's nothing nothing fishy that went on there now there was no sr in the box i did not weigh any packs at there wasn't an sr in the box after you took it out it's all it's, it's all it's all absolute bullshit and all, all your assumptions and also slandering me like that is is fully illegal and uh, and um after speaking to my solicitors, I can I can take this uh, to all, all my rights, and I'll, I'll do the same with Amir as well because everything was meant to be squished with him because he's another streamer. So I was like, right, okay, let's we'll leave it at that, whatever. So um, if you have beef, you have it with me. He doesn't care. He wasn't going to do anything. He wasn't going to make a video. Uh, he was just over it. He was going to block you. I'm not over it. I think everyone deserves to know that you're going to be ripping them off. Uh, it says in your profile that you were purchasing um, sealed vintage product. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this happened with something else. And uh, I want people to know that they should not be selling you anything of the sort. Because you might do something similar here. Sketchy little bitch. So yeah, um, if you want to contact me, we can uh, we can sort all this out legally. Because you met you also said that you messaged me. You messaged me at three o'clock in the morning my time. I'm not awake at that time, and you only sent the message today. So obviously, I'm not going to have a have a reply for you in that amount of time. So for you to make that video on Sloan to me and my name. Okay, so like he's also too stupid to know that his his message didn't finish off there. All right. Here I reply again. This is the this is the this is scammer 101. Threaten lawsuit, threaten slander and or defamation uh, lawsuit. Uh, again, I deny it. I didn't contact them with enough time. That kind of thing. I don't need enough time. Like it, there's there's no excuse for you to like remove the footage of it happening. If there was some kind of explanation, you would have provided it. Again, this is this is on me. I get a hold. I looked at the video. I saw what I saw. I give my opinion. It has nothing to do with anyone else. I think you're a scammer. I'm going to make a video about you scamming. Uh, shame on whatnot for not doing something about this. Because I'm sure it was reported at some point in time by whether it was Amir, whether it was somebody else. I'm sure somebody reported this. I'm sure the video has been seen by a whatnot employee. Shame on them for not doing anything about this. Um, shame on them for letting scammers d delete their VODs or hide their, their videos of selling things on their platform. Unacceptable. I don't give a shit if you refunded everyone because that wasn't the scam. Weighing the packs was so you could get a refund from your seller. If you'd like to do a Discord call with me, we can set that up. If not, go fuck yourself. He says, okay, great what a guy you are. Know your facts. Oh my God, why is it every scammer doesn't know the difference between you are and your... Like, never. Never get it right. It's always the wrong way around. Like, if there's a 50-50 chance that you, that you get the right you're here. Facts before doing what you do, I'll make the correct video and proof of everything. I say, you're welcome to explain the whole thing over a video call with me. And he says, I'll sort this myself with a space that shouldn't be there. I'll also have things written up. Okay. I wouldn't <laughs> want to talk to me either after the dumb shit you tried to pull. Why would I talk to you? You're irrelevant, you fool. Oh, he... He got, he got this right. It's just a lack of punctuation in there, but good job. Um, I don't quite understand this. Um, why? I, I'm not saying that I'm a, a, a big shot or that I have a large following, but... Ooh, ooh, 
I don't know why you would call somebody that's um, irrelevant and has more followers and everything than you do. It's a, it's, it's a weird it's a weird tactic. I haven't seen that before. I don't think. I mean, other than uh, from maybe the J boys a little bit. I say that's a, that's not a very good argument to make if you're claiming that I was slandering you. Also, that so, so sort of like oh you don't have a platform, no one watches your stuff. But he, that was you know it, it definitely hurt me in some way. Good good luck with that argument. It is now that I know what I know. <laughs> Learn some facts before anything, please. That's the last I'm going to say. I say, uh, you're not going to say anything in court? <laughs> we can wait and see about everything that's been stated. Matters are now being dealt with on Tuesday, and that's when everything will be sorted. Until then, have a nice day. So also, if anyone has ever worked with a lawyer um, or even remotely knows what's going on with anything, uh, they, the, your lawyer would absolutely spank your fanny if you start threatening the person that you're looking to take legal action against. It's a, a, right away, you can tell um, that's that's not a thing. Make sure to ask your lawyer if you should have been personally reaching out and threatening me with a case. It wasn't a threat. It's what I'm going to do. I have a case. We can sort it. No drama needed in between now. Go and make your the wrong year again. New videos with 500 views. I think that video has 7,000 views. So again, I don't where I don't know what dream world he's living in here. Where I say you are making sense. Why come something irrelevant and pretend the videos will get 500 views? Are you looking for me to point out that you're a pretend millionaire who no one watches until you get caught scamming and get featured on my channel? Pretend triple laughing crying emoji. <laughs> Reflections are hard, I get it, but please, thank you, you know nothing about me. I've heard, I've heard that before too. This is, if you guys count how many times we, we're going to see something here that is just a, the previous, every scammer does the same thing. It's the same rotation. This is, this is the phase where they're like, they're upset and they're looking to like get revenge or something before they realize that it's just a bad idea and I will keep going if they want to keep going. So it makes sense. There are tons of mean things you can say without pretending you have a larger following and I don't matter. Come on now. You just, you have just mentioned my money again. LOL. I'll send this around and make you out to be the fool. Go ahead. I say use your imagination. You seem to be good at it when bragging about your money. <laughs> I'll go live on Tuesday for you on Instagram and make you eat your. Again, wrong your tiny words. Maybe he just always, does he always use the apostrophe R-E and that's what, um, I think he just always uses this, so he's right half the time. I guess that's better than going back and forth and being wrong every time. Send it wherever you want to just make sure the laws say that you can. We can go live together on a Discord stage if you want. Bring your watch. Oh yeah, his uh, expensive watch, there's $250,000 watch or something that he claims to have. It's probably fake. Um, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it in a video clip again. He likes to uh, hide all his past dreams because he was probably scamming other people in them. Uh, that's my guess. There's no real reason to be hiding your previous streams other than if you're doing something shady and you don't want to be called on it. Again, it's just it's like deleting messages. Uh, I'm sure he'll do that eventually too. It's okay. I, I screenshot and record everything. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to be bothered to, uh, to delete things. Um... So, if you're not in the Discord, you probably want to be in the Discord just in case he shows up. I don't think he will, but uh, you never know. Maybe he will. Uh, if he does, we'll do a Discord stage. Uh, I'll set up the event. If he doesn't show up, then maybe we just hang out for a little bit. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I don't know what we do. We we just hang out. We'll do a Q and A if uh, if he doesn't show up. He says, "Sweet Tuesday. I'm free Tuesday. Same time. We can do a live." I say, "Yes, Tuesday sounds good." Sounds good. What times are you available? I'm assuming that he has nothing better to do the entire day. So it's weird that he uh, has a specific time, but whatever. We'll agree to the specific time. Uh, then he doesn't really have an excuse uh, to not be there. I won't let you down either. 5 p.m. GMT Tuesday. I say, what time do you go to bed? Better if it's in the evening or on a weekend. Uh, just for the sake of it. I'm sure lots of people want to be there, but can't be there during the day. But it's okay. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. It, it, We'll either have a, a playback or something so that people who missed out on it can see it. 
says, what time is best for you? GMT time. We can do whatever time you want. I say 11 p.m. at GMT. Too late for you? Question mark. You can bring whoever you want to watch as well. He said, yeah, bring your bring your family, bring everyone else. Um, I'm sure you probably don't want them to find out that you're scamming people for Pokemon cards. But uh, if you'd like them to be there for moral support, you can. He says, yeah, I say at 10, 8 p.m. I want to bring whoever I want. I'll show you up with all the pretend shit, okay? What the hell are you even saying there? You know most people seen my Bentleys, etc. Right you know I'm a VIP client in Louis the 13th. I am also VIP Clint at Jacob & Co. Dude, you're full of shit. I don't... Why? Also, scammers fucking love to pretend that they have money. I don't know what it is. Uh, speaking of Jacob, yeah, this is, this is like this is like Jacob Light. I'm assuming that he's less heavy than, than the J-Boy Jacob, but also Jacob Light and the fact that uh, he's not as good at pretending that he has money. Bring your story and a list of everything I got wrong in the video. You can give me a house and a car tour if you want. 5 p.m. at GMT it is. I'll send you a link once I set it up. You will join mine. Again, we're going to move the goalpost here. Um, no, I'm not joining yours. Um, if you'd like to stream it elsewhere, as I say here, at the same time, go to town. You have my permission, but it'll have to be in the Discord sage that I set up. I can even save you a copy if you want. Um, so here, <laughs> again, um, I don't know what this, the, another scammer bingo uh, slot here. Uh, he sends me a picture of videos that I have published that are live right now at this very time. Um, these are older videos, but again, we got the Jenny cosplay. Very classic. Uh, for anyone that missed out on those, you uh, you should probably go back and watch them. Um, I don't, again, what the fuck? I don't, I, 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 I published those. It wasn't someone else. That was me. He says, a video coming out soon. Oh, we'll, we'll take a look at that. I say, you do know I published those, right? Correct. Laughing, crying emoji. Did you accidentally buy followers for someone else today? You discriminated me for tattoos, and you wear lipstick and dress like that, you absolute buffoon. And I say, whoa, sounding a little phobic there. He says, you uh, was tattoo phobic. Enjoy the rest of <laughs> this that was created, Max. Bye for now. I say what? I don't. I'm not sure exactly what he was trying to say here. Um, I don't know if there's typos or something of that sort. Um, but um, but yeah, that's uh, so. I, the, can you can you guess what the the content is going to be uh, in his poorly edited video? Again, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but because of the icon here that is like the um, the grayed out emoji, uh, if we go to the old uh, Poke Josh page, uh, he blocked me. Again. It, it, the scammer bingo guys there's another there's another box someone must have bingo by this point in time um <laughs> god damn it i can i can just make another account and vpn yes even if you if you block all associated accounts i can just vpn and, and make a fresh account and i can see what you posted if i want to go back and look at your junk slabs on your on your desk that you got from a yard sale Here we have uh, Amir. So Amir uh, got slapped with the, this is the person that sold him the box. Again, Amir didn't necessarily want to uh, to pursue any action. He was just going to be over it and uh, ignore the individual that is throwing a tantrum at this point in time. But uh, but yeah, we got uh, again. He um, for some reason, I guess uh, our boy Josh thought it was a good idea to purchase fo followers for Amir. I guess purchase followers for him and then report him for botting followers. I don't know what's going on here exactly with. Uh, with our boy Josh, but he is obsessed with bot accounts at this point in time. Uh, he is I, he's spending he's spending a lot of money on bot accounts. Uh, let's take a look here. So this is the post that I make, a usual post that I make on all of this stuff, um, all of my videos. I'll just put like a hey new video uh, and have the the thumbnail here as the as the post. I go not very exciting, but good to good to at least let people know what's going on, what I'm making videos on, and just in case they're not. Uh, they're not tuned in just in case they don't get a notification on YouTube, just in case they only come in and watch certain videos. Uh, they can at least know that it's there. It sucks that uh, you can't even click on the link here because Instagram is fun like that. Um, so as you can see here, we have a lot of uh, a lot of accounts uh, that happen to have very Middle Eastern names. Again, nothing against uh, people from any region, uh, but the fact that um, 
maybe all of the bots came from from there uh and they're all saying the same thing the amir sold me a dead box said it sold me a dead box like uh, so you got bot accounts that you made follow his account you got bot accounts now that you're making comment on my on my thing here most of them got flagged or and they like pending review or like do you want to see all these that are probably spam uh section even more so than the actual spam um that that's on there so let's uh, let's take a look here. So maybe we got we got. I don't know. Some of it doesn't even make sense. We got bots. We got reads the sun. What the hell does that even mean? Sold me a dead box. Sold me a dead box. Uh, we got bots everywhere. Rattle is a simp for BBWs. Again, we're getting a little. We're getting a little. Um, your uh, your criticism and or insults here, Josh. Uh, like you gotta be careful with those. I don't I don't know if you want to elaborate on what's wrong with a BBW, but uh maybe maybe you shouldn't say things like that. Rattles mom and dad are related. Okay, so okay, we can agree. Maybe incest is is, is a no no. Unless it's a stepsister, then have have your way. Have her way. Have it have it your way. Sold me a dead box. Any opinions? Okay, so like even the poker box ones for reference here, like the the this is the 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 spam crap. I think as soon as you use like a Pokemon tag, they probably come in and they're like eager. There's usually a few of those accounts. Um, here, well, we finally got Josh's own comment here with ten replies. Some people were in there roasting them. If you want to participate again, I don't delete comments. So if there's anything that does get deleted, um, it, it's just because it like went too far. Uh, if anyone would like to come talk to Josh, you can do it here. As you can see, we get 10 replies. He says, please learn your shit about these packs. You can't wait them at all. When it had no SR, I refunded everyone. Okay, so we got like a whole different, now you can't weigh them. You can, you can weigh them. When it had no SR, I refunded everyone. Also, all the things you said are incorrect and don't say I have no money or I'm better than anyone else. It's all bullshit. But thanks for... Taking the time for promoting me, thumbs up. Okay, so like another argument against how you would... Again, there's no defamation case here. Uh, we saw what you did. We put out our opinion on it. That's it. That's it. There's that, That's not defamation. That's not how it works. If you can see scales and you can see packs being weighed and there is proof, well, there isn't at all. And I've taken the loss on the box on my chin as there was no SR. So maybe you did. Maybe you did take a loss on the box because no one wants the other packs after after the fact. You had to refund them. There was no way around it. I still think you should be banned regardless of whether you refunded those people. Because if you didn't get caught um, doing it then you would have screwed over the person that you were buying from. And I'm, me, personally, I think TCG Evolutions, I think Josh here, I think if WhatNot wants to do the right thing and be known as the platform that uh, that does not stand for people that are cheating other people, uh, they need to ban both of you uh, and uh, and set an example here. It doesn't matter, if I, even if you're scamming off-platform, if you're scamming on-platform with the items and, and scamming someone that you bought it from prior to going live, it still counts. It's still scamming. Uh, you're still no good for the hobby, and they should still um, be taking action. And, uh, you know, they got to be proactive with this stuff. Otherwise, they get uh, they get a reputation for being a bunch of carnival folk uh, with arm tattoos that are, are stealing from people. It's just a platform of people stealing from people. Yes, it happens on other platforms. It happens on Facebook. It happens on TikTok. It happens on Drip. It happens everywhere. But the thing is, if you're going to be a platform, what's the point of the platform if you're not taking action against the people that are ripping off the people that are spending money on your platform and making money for you? If you don't look after your customers, yes, maybe in the short term, it's in your best interest to have as many people sell as many things as possible. But when you have people leaving the platform because they get ripped off and you do nothing about it, then what? So it's like a, it's a long term. You got to look at the long term. Same with the like the gambling nonsense that they they finally got rid of or they're getting rid of. Um, they still shouldn't. I still think they shouldn't have like mystery items and stuff like that because they can easily be manipulated. I know people don't want to sell packs for more than what you can buy them at the store because I mean that, that would make too much sense. So you better find a way to be entertaining without the illegal un regulated gambling that kind of stuff because eventually you're not going to be allowed to do it anywhere that's basically what it comes down to your razzle dazzles your lotteries all of that shit 
just uh, people just stay away from it. I get the new people coming in. They're like, oh, it's but it's exciting. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, uh, like the your multiplier, you might as well uh, go into a prison and pull your pants down and hope that you don't get butt fucked. That's basically what you're looking at here. Like maybe you won't. Maybe maybe it's just a good time. People compliment your butt cheeks and they don't stick their dick in your ass. But there's a good chance you get a, duck, a dick stuck stuck in your ass. I can't even speak right now. Um, yes. Yeah, so if you'd like things to go further for you, you are, you are self. Send me a DM. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. All right. All right. We got OK Scammer. So even you can tell that everyone that is a real person here uh, is uh, promoting you with all 224 followers. Noobs being noobs. Crying laughing emoji. Uh uh, upstated says this is exactly what a scammer would say. Yeah, this is the this is standard issue Pokemon scammer tantrum that we're that we're looking at now. TCG collector says obviously you didn't hear the video that well, did you? Max says can I get a refund, bro? And you say Max, I'm not gonna do that. I don't know how I could do that. Yet a minute later, then you say okay, Max, I'll refund you. I'll refund it along with everybody else. Yeah, and then also complain about the money. But it's okay. You're a millionaire. You should be able to eat the cost of a simple booster box, right? A modern Japanese booster box, you would think. Sounds like a guilty conscience to me. You are seen blatantly putting one pack down at a time, taking it off, and then repeating it, all while doing this off screen. You might be able to fool your sheep into believing your shit story, but not the rest of us. Enjoy your last days on whatnot. Um, I hope so. I hope one not smartens the hell up. Like... It's it's pretty bad. Like at any point, if you get caught ripping people off on their platform, it's in their entirely best interest to just say you're gone. If you got if you get caught shell bidding, there should be no week suspension. There should be no like oh you you don't get payout right away anymore. It's gone. It's just gone. It's their name that's on it. And if whatnot wants to clean up their name in any method in any way. Oh, and also saying to Rattle Pokemon that he needs to learn about these packs when you haven't got a clue yourself is a bit rich, but just shut you up further. I've gone to the trouble of attaching another YouTube video for you to watch that shows somebody weighing CP6 booster packs, and wouldn't you know it, the second heaviest pack was the one with the SR in it. So all this bullshit about not being able to weigh them is exactly that bullshit. Enjoy. So, no, he knows. He knows he can weigh them. He's just like trying to claim that he can, or he's going to play dumb, or he's going to, like, he's got, like, 16 different reasons for why he wasn't scamming here. Uh, not once did he say why he took them off screen uh, and why he was putting them down one at a time. Why he would do that, well, I don't know why you would think that you would ever get away with doing that. Regardless, like, wh why have them off Maybe you were going to delete the VOD and pretend, like, hope no one noticed that you had them off screen long enough to weigh them all individually? All right, what else do we do? We got Clearway. It's bang on what you're doing, and you literally are linking people a video that you probably watched LOL to find the SRs. It's not hard just to take out a few of the packs and be safe and replace them with lights. I'd love to hear the explanation. And he had packs before, too, which is also an important piece uh, because he was selling loose packs of CP6. So did he have did he have a couple there that he could just swap in while the packs were took, taken off screen, then brought back, but all clumped like they're individually been checked through. You think everyone else is stupid and you're clever cunt? Haven't one person say a good thing about you? No, he knows that he's guilty. Um, I don't I don't understand why why even put up a stink, but that's what scammers gonna scam, right? Uh, go find a different hobby, Josh. You fucking pussy. Um. <laughs> Pokemon Jerry says, are you seriously making dozens of accounts just to make it sound like these guys have a bad reputation? All the accounts literally say they are new. Come on, man. This is your slip up for taking packs off screen and War Turtle uh, snitching on you. So like, <laughs> the War Turtle snitching on him. Um, yeah, I would say that he's not making all the new accounts. Uh, these are things. He just went on a website and purchased them. Um, same way he purchased the followers. You would think if he wanted to like, if he wanted to call me irrelevant or something like that, that he would have purchased himself some followers. But I guess then I would, I would just cover that. Would be like, oh, he went from two hundred followers to twelve hundred all of a sudden, and and would you look at it? All of them are brand new accounts. Uh, but again, it's him. He's, I, I guess, uh, trying to get back at myself and the person that sold him the box, the seller that sold him the box in good faith, uh, and that he was trying to screw over. Again. Um, 
if I was Amir, I would be probably posting all over the place. Uh, but uh, he didn't want to do that. Um, I, I get a hold of the story. I make videos on this sort of thing. Uh, as a warning to everyone else, it's, it's newsworthy stuff. It's stuff that I want to make sure that you guys that are watching these videos can learn, can look out to avoid, people to avoid, uh, so that you're not selling uh, Mr. Poke Josh here a, uh, a sealed product and he, he rips you off. So uh, it, and just cracking down on this type of thing, is like the best, the absolute best way to, to prevent people from being scammed. Every now and then, if we get a, we put out a video like this, uh, and someone's like, "Oh crap, I got scammed by them too," or "Oh yes, I didn't, I didn't purchase or I didn't sell anything to this individual." Thank you so much for making the video, um, and uh, and then you can use the eBay uh, block list, suggested block list that's in my Discord. Another good reason to join the Discord. Uh, there's a link there to the page where you can block the people. Uh, and then also uh, a list of people that you can copy paste in there, uh, as well as anyone else that you wanted to block on your own. Makes a big difference. Yes, you're, there is always a chance that you get scammed on eBay in terms, especially as a seller. Um, as a buyer, it's pretty safe unless you unless you get a fake card and you don't recognize it as a fake card or something something along those lines, something that's resealed. So try to buy um, that sort of thing from someone reputable if you aren't going to be opening it right away, like within three days of when you receive it. I think is the new rule. Um, so here we got we got <laughs> sits down sits down to piss. Um, again, someone might argue that that's a little bit sexist. Uh, we got more rattle as a simp for BWs. Like at least you would think that he would at least put in like different messages for them all, so they're not all just spamming the same thing. Um, but uh, regardless, it's a, if you guys want to jump in there, feel free to do so. Uh, here we go. We can look at uh, these are all the ones that got blocked. Gibbs is a little pussy boy. That's uh, I heard rattle is a fat bald virgin. Nice. I wish man. I wish I was a virgin. I'd have superpowers. All right, now, so uh, because he doesn't realize it, because he doesn't know it, because um, VPN is hard, uh, it, here we go. We, we're, we're just going to straight up use Opera GX. We're going to make a new account, uh, and we are able to see his uh, his page. Wow, wow, we, we can go look at his towers of bulk, modern bulk. Very cool. The stuff that you didn't ship out to customers because um, they either didn't want it or because that's kind of like the acceptable thing to do at this point in time. Um, what else we got here? We got his very expensive Nintendo Switch. Um, so I don't know if anyone is able to identify the vehicle that uh, that this guy is in. Um, you would you would think he'd be driving his own Bentley. I don't know if he's like getting a ride from Mummy. Um, but uh, I don't. That does not look like a Bentley dash to me. Uh, if anyone knows if this is a Bentley, please do let me know in the comments section. I'm sure there's some uh, vehicle wizards out there that can uh, that can tell us. Again, we got the junk slaps. We got the very budget fan that's on the side of the desk here. You would think that uh, someone that's a millionaire would have some sort of uh, climate control system in their house, but uh, apparently not. Also, some cable management, um, and you know, we got we got budget play mats from stuff that he opened in recent times. We got junk slabs. Yes, there's some Watsy there, some non-hollow Watsy unlimited crap. Uh, but again, junk slabs. We got we we even got the junk grading companies, uh, the ones that don't hold a premium, but you wasted twenty dollars grading with them. Um, yes, all of it's there. And what is this? Oh no, it's a hit piece rattle video. Let's see what's it, what's inside. Very cool editing skills. Oh no. Hey, listen to the song. Sweet doo doo daddy. Hey. All right. So here, this is the Proto Stories video. If you guys want to watch that, that is still available. Uh, essentially, we had CGC grading this thing. It would have there's just like some crazy vested interest because uh, the person that was providing a lot of the backstory of how it was to be, how it came to be, uh, owned copy of the uh, copies of the card and probably still owned owns and or owned copies of the card so again you, you got you got money involved big money involved with something uh that was um you know the the entire story behind it it wasn't a, a, a released 
thing, whether or not it was just someone messing around with the printers, whether or not it was some kind of test thing, whether it was cut out by hand, all of that stuff is just like, it's real, real sketchy. So that's the story on that video. Regardless, we have Karen Astic who made this uh, music for me. We had the, uh, the uh, officer Jenny dance. Um, so that's, that's what that is. I guess that was supposed to be his big own. Uh, Poker Josh says, this is the guy trying to take the pies out of me and someone you are, you lot are follow and watch crying, laughing face, wake the hell up idiots. I think most people that watch the channel know that that exists. We got Elite Four Max saying, Lamau, delete your whatnot account, Josh. We don't want scammers in the community anymore. We got Living the Dream, funded by daddies. I don't know, like, is I don't know what the, the daddy talk here. Am I funded by daddies? I don't have any daddies, unfortunately. Would love some daddies. Hero video. Hey, bro, you have a killer setup, bro. Love how much Pokemon cards you had laid out on that massive table with the dual monitors. And that's sick that it is curved, too. <laughs> What brand of portable fan is that you have? Because I need one too. Let me know. Keep it the good work, Josh. Um, so I, that's got to be sarcastic, right? I hope it is because it's like on a lot of the stuff that I pointed out in my last video. Um, so I don't know. All these bot accounts. So again, like, are we projecting a little bit, Josh? Um, what, what in the world is this? We can rewrite it. Cool. All right. So you can tell that I don't use Opera GX very much. That's kind of cool. Rewrite using, we can translate, we can explain briefly. Cool. All right. Anyway, that's all I got for you today, guys. We'll see if Josh shows up. Uh, it will be tomorrow. It's Monday today with the time of this video coming out. Uh, if he shows up Tuesday tomorrow, uh, and that'll be, what was it, 5 o'clock GMT. I'll create an event for it. I'll create a Discord stage for it. Uh, and uh, if it happens, it happens. If not, maybe we'll go in there and hang out uh, regardless. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time. Join the Discord. Bye.